Hello everyone, it's me once again. Today I just want to uh, share you my experience growing a orchid plant here. So um, I hope it will cover most of them. So here it goes. We bought this orchid plant three years ago. Now it didn't look healthy at the time and you can see why the uh, you would expect the orchid leaves to grow vertically one by one but it's always seemed to just going one-sided. It's not growing straight up. Uh, I think the supermarket that we bought from is a big, big, well-known established uh, brand and they were expecting the customer to not have this orchid for more than two or three months, should we say. But we kept it for three years and um, we were tempted to throw this away. But after putting on a lot of effort with these um, orchid drip feed with the mixture of lots of sunlight we have seen a very good result this year is much better than last year I, I must say I think we had about only four or five flowers last year uh, this year we're expecting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I think it's gonna reach probably 12 or 13 flowers overall now I remember, clearly, up just over a week ago, this was the tip of the flower branch. Now we can see within about just over a week, it's grown to about 12 to 15 centimeters. So it's still growing. Now one of the tip for the flower branch, which grows with between each leaves, by the way, is you need to get one of these sticks and you need to fix it if you want to make sure the flower branch grows straight up because it looks more featurey um, unless if you actually place if you actually place the orchid plant in one side while the flower branch go it will go bend towards the sunlight very easily it will be a curve which probably some people might like but I would like to make it straight and um, probably it's too straight but as you can see, this was very much like that. But after I faced it against the sunlight, it's now going straight up. But before this is when it's a light green color. But once it reaches to the dark brown color, that's when it's fixed. That's when it's solid. So you've got to make sure you make you make a straight line if you want to achieve it. Um, regards to the water. Um, someone I found from YouTube which was very useful saying that if you get the bottom branches white silvery color like this that's when you fully water it make sure you get a vase that could drain the water very quickly so don't be afraid to give a lot of water make sure you get, get plenty of um, sunlight because it will dry fairly quickly especially on the top so I tend to spray water on the top every morning when it's when i expect a very sunny day and um, so i am going to do that as well so i'm going to make sure this receives plenty of water because it will suddenly turn to green when it does it likes it this top branches are designed to absorb moisture from the air and feed it to the brain i would say that's the brain and this is quite amazing by the way every single time um, I'm trying to sit, straighten it out. It bends, as I said, like this. And it, when I make sure it's actually sunk in overall, the roots, the, the brain, should, should we say, at the very edge top of the uh, soil or the wood chip, it learns itself to sprout out all the branches like this. So it's quite amazing to see how it thinks and reacts to the changed circumstances. And you can see the leaf grows left and right, left and right through these uh, well, gaps, should we say, the bottom, right in the pit of the middle. And you can see one sprouting out again. And this time it's much bigger. I mean, it's just get, becoming so big that I'm a bit scared with the size of the leaves. But the reward of the flowers are just uh, amazing. I mean, just fantastic. As I said, we're expecting at least 11 to 12 flowers. And this time, the flower size 
Mm, it's pretty much the same as last year, I would say, but um, we, we are very, very happy with it. Just so you know, as it grows, you will get yellowy leaves. You just wait until it becomes slightly brownish color. That's actually died out because it's not getting much nutrition out of it anymore or feed. It's the natural way to for a flower to filter out all the dying leaves. What you do is you wait and you just pull it out. It'll just come out quite easily. But I'll, I'll advise to make sure it's um, past the yellowy color, turning to more like a brownish color. That's when you're okay to pull it out. Unless, don't risk it. But I have this time, but it's still looking good. Um, normally, you would expect two flower branches to sprout out which I did say early on, it tends to become sprouting out between each deep down side of the gap of the leaves. But I have plugged out all the dying leaves and it looks like almost like a separate identity. That's how I designed it, wanted to design it to be that way. And it have been quite a successful experiment here. Um, so that's pretty much it. So we're expecting a very, beautiful, very early stage of an orchid plant here. So my advice is use these tips. Um, if you feel like it needs a extra strength, make sure you get some uh, drip feed onto it like that. This will probably last about a month, but I have experienced numerous times that this will be emptied up uh, within a couple of days. It's amazing. I mean, probably the orchid flower is um, very thirsty with nutrition it de definitely actually helps but um, I will personally advise before the flower blooms make sure it gets plenty of sunlight because it will uh, accelerate the growth and that's about it but um, get into the scheme of if you like plants if you're not sure but if you want to have beautiful flowers with great rewards get into the scheme of growing one of the orchid plants we're just loving it at the moment and it's a beautiful orchid plant not perfect but uh, still yet very rewarding indeed so thank you very much for watching this video this is love jesus please bye